And a really surprising new poll from CNN and ORC shows a renewed degree of optimism among Americans. This poll shows that 52% of Americans think that things are going well. Now, this is the first time in nearly eight years that a majority has shared that opinion. So what is behind this shift? Will retailers benefit and will people really start feeling a difference in their lives? I want to speak with CNN Global Economic Analyst Rana Faruhar. She is also Assistant Managing Editor at Time. And, and when we say 52% of Americans think that things are going well, that may not seem like a great number at first, but compare it to last year at this time. We have a graphic that shows that. And I think last year at this time it was just 41%. That is a you know, 11% shift in just one year. That's a huge shift. And I think what it really reflects is we've had several months now of strong job growth. People are really expecting things to get better. Uh, consumer spending is up. I think that we're going to see a really great Black Friday today. My hopes are high for that. Um, and economic growth overall is up. You're finally seeing a recovery that feels like a recovery to more people. In, are they feeling it? at home that's the big question here when you break it down we ask people do they think things are improving just stabilized or getting worse let's take a look at that number right here you know 32 percent thinks that things are starting to recover that means really getting better 41 percent say things have stabilized 26 percent saying worse again this is a much better number than before but still there's that middle group of 41 percent right. who really feel to a certain extent stagnant well it's interesting the middle has been the problem in this recovery so you know all along for the past six years we've had job growth at the top and we've had job growth in in lower wage jobs but we haven't had those good jobs in the middle and unless people feel that they have secure employment and higher wages they're really not going to be spending and you're not going to see that sort of uptick in expectations no you need to feel like you're getting Paid yeah, more, more money in your pocket. You need to get paid more, yeah. and wage growth has been very, very slow. It has, and that's another thing that, though, we're seeing hopeful signs on. The last couple of months, you've started to see just a little bit of wage growth, which, you know, this is six years into a recovery, so that's a long time for that to happen, but it is finally happening, and I think that that's why you're seeing that, that big swing in expectations. Uh I, I want to talk about something that happened yesterday while many people were having their turkey and watching football, <laughs> which is a huge economic development, which is that OPEC met and they decided that, that they are not going to cut back on production. The, the effect there is that oil prices are really, really low and they dropped even more yesterday in the United yes. States, you know, teetering around, you know, $70 or below, which means your gas prices right now are averaging two point, what, two, you know, oh, two eighty a gallon, two seventy nine a gallon, which is the lowest in four years. That's yeah. big. Oh, it's really big. I mean, they're down uh, $30 a barrel uh, since since the summer. So that's a huge amount of stimulus, really, for the economy. People really feel that right away. You know, I talk to people on the street and they say, hey, it's costing, you know, $20, $30 to fill up now instead of $50 or $60. That's big. It, it really it affects consumer spending yeah, fairly directly. Absolutely. I mean, there is a correlation between when gas prices drop, people tend to spend more. That's right. And particularly for lower income people, gas, uh, heating prices, that's, that's really big. And that will increase spending in the holiday season, I think.